Hey guys, my name is Jenna Lieber. I work for Turnkey Product Management. I'm not sure if you guys have seen a couple of my last podcasts with you guys, but we have covered tons and tons of different Amazon topics for you. Um, today, what we're going to be talking about is that our turnkey team takes every single time we sign a new client. Um, I feel it is incredibly valuable for brand owners, for anyone selling on Amazon to complete this as your first step. Um, the reality is, you know, it's, it's tough, right? When you first get on Amazon, you don't really know where should I start, um, you know, where to begin, really. So doing a competitor analysis kind of hones in on what you need to start with, right? So with this competitor analysis, you know, you're able to see where should I start? What keywords should I use? What images? So I'm kind of just going to go through a step-by-step -step on how we do it. Is It is incredibly simple. Um, and yeah, I'm just excited to, you know, talk with you guys about it. So, um, you know, like I said, I think it's incredibly valuable for everyone to do it. I, I really think everyone needs to. Um, I also recommend, like, if you're already on Amazon, I think it's cool to do this maybe once a quarter. You know, see if your competitors have changed, see if there's anything new going on that maybe you're not doing yet. Um, so I'll kind of just roll through, um, you know, our, our six steps in terms of creating that competitor analysis. So step number one is going and obviously finding those competitors, right? You need to find those top five competitors, people that have the similar product to you, similar brand message. These people are your competitors. These are the people you need to beat. So kind of put that list together, find those five or four that, you know, you feel you match up against really well and they're the ones taking your customers, right? So find those, that's step number one. And then once you do that, you'll go ahead and complete the competitor analysis. So here's what we look at. So our first piece that we look at is looking at the sales copy. So what I mean by sales copy, that could mean the title, it could mean the product description, the bullet points, literally any piece of the sales copy. And um, you know, what we look for is maybe why taglines that you can also use, look for keywords, look for anything that stands out to you as a customer and think, oh, this sold me on this product. So that's step number one is just completing that. It's super simple. Just go ahead. And all I do is really, I just copy and paste it. I'm like, that is a great bullet point. Now, obviously guys do not put the exact same bullet point. Do not do that, but you can go use it as, you know, your starting point, your starting block, right? This is how you're going to start it off. So after we look at the sales copy, we're also going to look at the bonus value, um, see if there's anything free they're giving away with their product. So an example is on Prime Day, um, I was a sucker and I bought a waist trimmer, um, like most people do. And um, one thing they gave away with, with that waist trimmer was um, that like lotion that you can put on um, that will, you know, help your waist get trimmer quicker. And I was an even bigger sucker and I loved the little lotion, so I went and bought it on Amazon. So they cross sold to me and it was great. So that's one example of a bonus ad. Another thing that could just be bonus is like a warranty, a guarantee that's valuable to people. So that's also what you're going to be looking for when you're going to this competitor analysis and looking at your different competitors and seeing what are they adding that is valuable to the customer. So after you've completed that, this is my all time favorite part of this competitor analysis process is you go through and you look at the complaints people are getting on their listings. It's great. It's kind of a confidence booster. You're like, oh, that sucks that people said that about you. I don't know. It's kind of funny. You know, obviously we all have to deal with it. Unfortunately, it's not very fun when people are, you know, leaving, you know, some not so awesome feedback, but you know, in that moment, it's not feedback about your product. So you get to learn from it, right? So basically what we look to do, what I do personally, I go straight to the one stars. I want to see what people are saying, right? What made them so upset that they gave a one star? So that's what I do straight to the one star. And I look for about three to five complaints. And when you're looking at these complaints, you're thinking, how can I transfer this complaint into something I put in maybe my sales copy, maybe in my images, maybe you're in the designing process of your product and you can say, oh, I, I need to add something that fixes that problem that they're talking about here. So that's another example right there. But, but 100%, you know, you definitely during this process want to look at the reviews and see what people are saying. 
Um, the next part, I've definitely talked about this in a couple of my other talks with you guys, but looking at those product images and those infographics, what are people using to sell on Amazon? What are those, what do those images look like? Um, and then you're also looking at those infographics, not only, you know, are you're seeing what, what, like, what, what are they putting together for the infographic, but also what material is in that infographic? What content is in there? What, what things are they pointing out in that infographic? Um, and then after that, you know, after we complete all those, our next thing is kind of the brainstorm, you know, um, because right now you're kind of in that brainstorming, you know, area, right? Because you're looking at all these things, you're getting ideas, they're flowing, and you're, you're putting yourself in that brainstorming area. And this is a great time to just jot down different things that maybe you could do to your product, maybe different free things you can add for your customers. Um, this is just a great time to quickly brainstorm um, things you can test on your page, on your product, anywhere. Um, and then after we complete that, the last step that we do is we do a Jungle Scout report. So I don't know if, if any of you guys are using Jungle Scout, but if you are selling on Amazon, you've got to get it. Or if you're sourcing products to sell on Amazon, you've got to get it. Because the truth is, Jungle Scout, you're able to see what people are selling products for. You're able to see the, um, their monthly revenue. Um, you know, you're able to see a ton. So I will show you guys what that looks like. Um, and then also what we use it for is actually for keywords. There is a feature on the Jungle Scout, Scout um, Chrome extension where you can see what keywords people are targeting for that um, category. So, um, you know, this presentation I'm doing a little bit different. I'm not doing a PowerPoint. I'm honestly going to do a live just competitor analysis, kind of walk you guys through what we do. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you guys now. Okay, cool. So what I did, you know, we are now representing a client called Jenna's Jammin Slow Feeder Bowl. That's our new client. So we are completing this competitor analysis for Jenna's Jam and Slow Feeder Bowl. Um, so this is kind of what that looks like. So um, this is just, you know, a quick breakdown of what it looks like. You know, what we do is we put in, we want to make sure we save that link of that competitor. That way we can go back and look at our notes, right? You want to see, you know, oh, what was I talking about there? Because I don't, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when you're taking notes, it, you do kind of have to circle back around and see what you meant by that. So um, basically, yeah, so you, you press this right there. It will take you right to the listing. Um, I also like to put a screenshot of their entire listing. So that way you can see how many images do they have? What do their bullet points kind of look like terms and length? What does their title look like? It looks like right now they had about 700 reviews. Um, you know, how many questions were asked, you know, it's just good to grab the screenshot that way, you know, what competitor you're talking about. Um, so yeah, so I completed this first step just for this one. And then what we'll do is we'll move on to more competitors after this. Um, so here are a couple of pieces of the sales copy that I grabbed from this competitor. Um, so, you know, these are things that you want to put in your sales copy, right guys? These are things that you're like, okay, that does matter to customers and I need to make sure I mention that. So right here, for example, you know, it talks about what the product is made out of the type of materials it's made out of. So that's important, right? Because people care about their dogs. They want to know what their dog is eating out of. So this is a, critical part to put in to your sales copy at some point where wherever you want to just wherever you decide to put it is up to you um, but you definitely want to make sure you're mentioning that right um, another piece of their sales copy I found incredibly valuable was easy to use and clean truthfully right our dogs are they're, they're kind of messy you know we love them they're kind of messy so you know making sure that this product is easy to clean that makes sense you need to include that somewhere you know maybe not in your info um, maybe not in your bullet points but maybe it should be in your infographic right so you're just grabbing pieces that sell a customer right you're, you're just grabbing things that you think this sells me I want to buy this because of this you know just really thinking that way so another thing that this listing had, their value add that I found was a 100% guarantee um, when purchasing this product. So they said 100% money back guarantee will be included with all slow eating bowls. So the truth is guys, if your competitors are providing a guarantee, you need to also provide that guarantee just because that could be the difference maker, right? That could be why someone won't buy your product, but they'll buy another product. So that's another thing to add right there is make sure you're adding those value items and trying to match what your competitors are doing and beat it. You want to beat what your competitors are saying. 
All right, so moving on to my favorite part, like I, guys, like I told you guys, um, was finding the top three to five complaints from customers um, from the critical reviews area. Um, so here are the three that I found. I just grabbed three. So one thing I do is I make sure that the, you know, we have those links in there. That way I can go back and, you know, obviously read the review more in depth. This is kind of a shorter version of it, but um, cute, but skip it unless your dog has a freakishly long tongue. <laughs> So see what I mean, guys? This stuff does kind of put a smile on your face. That was really funny. So, um, but yeah, so this is a good part, you know, good thing to think about because, you know, in your sales copy, maybe you can make a joke like that. Like, hey, you know, this bowl is not for freakishly long tongued dogs. This is for normal tongued dogs, something like that. You can make a joke out of it. Or, you know, simply just say, you know, our bowl is not as deep as others. You know, just really trying to see what are people complaining complaining about, right? Just kind of trying to pick out those different things. So that's one right there, you know, you know, that's too deep, obviously. Um, food gets stuck in the spirals. Um, you know, maybe you can create a video showing it doesn't get stuck in the spirals. Maybe you can create an image that shows that, um, you know, just showing that, hey, it's not going to get just caught in these little corners right here. It's, um, it's not that hard to get it out of, you know. And then the last one, um, you know, this isn't, a huge complaint, right? I, you know, um, but frustrating for puppy. Um, you know, I think that would be a good bullet point, right? Like uh, frustration free zone for your puppy. You know, it's going to challenge them. It's going to prevent bloating, but it's frustration free, you know? So people are saying, you know, this frustrates my dog. My dog just gets upset and flips the bowl and gets, a, gets mad, you know, making it a frustration free product would be great, right? So that's another thing you can point out in the sales copy. So definitely I've shown you guys this before and it, it still stands true today. These are great product images. So basically what you do in this step is you grab a few images that you love. Um, I don't think there's limit to this, right? You know, you don't have to do one and one. Uh, do as many as you want because it's important. This stuff is important. And the more examples you have, the easier it is to hand to your designer and say, hey, can you make this please? So, uh, you know, for example, right here, this dog bowl has, you know, has the packaging. You guys know I love to show packaging with the main image. I think that's awesome. Um, and then right over here to the side, we have the infographics. It's talking about the different benefits of this bowl, right? Because maybe people don't understand why would I get my dog that bowl? Well, here's why. It prevents choking and vomiting, food safe materials, prevents food spillage and sliding. You know, it's, it's listing all of the benefits to this product. It's going to sell you if you don't understand it, you know? So the last thing, like I said, you're in brainstorming mode. Um, one thing that I put down, I'm like, hmm, it would be really cool if there was different colors, different variations for this product. What if my dog doesn't like blue? Pretty sure dogs are colorblind, but hey, maybe my dog doesn't like blue. I don't know. So it's important to have different colors, different variations. So that was one little brainstorm I put down there after completing that. Um, and then right here, you know, talking about the Jungle Scout report, this is what it looks like. Um, so you're able to see right here, you know, the average price of this item. You're able, able to see, you know, the revenues they're making, the reviews they have, that average star rating that they have. Um, you're able to see it all, you know, able to see the prices. So 100% guys telling you, use Jungle Scout. It's awesome. And then the last thing I want to go over from Jungle Scout is, you know, these keywords right here. So every single Chrome extension with Jungle Scout does have this. Um, I will show you guys how to get there. Um, but yeah, so basically this can kind of kickstart your keyword research, right? Where you can see, okay, a lot of people are mentioning bloat. They're mentioning bowl, dog, feeder, fun, interactive. These are things people are mentioning in this category. So this is a great start to your keyword research. Um, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm honestly going to roll through a few of my competitors here that I've listed. And I'm just going to show you guys live kind of how I look at this and how our team grabs stuff and what we think when we're grabbing them. So um, we'll go ahead and start with this one right here. Um, so right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at sales copy. This is what we're looking at for this specific one. So um, right now, you know, title isn't that crazy, so I don't really see that as a big sales copy thing. But when I do go down to these bullet points here, you know, obviously not that in depth, but they do have some really good points to them. You know, it's like I said, they're not saying that much in here, um, but they are pointing out very important things that you should be mentioning if you're selling this product. So one that really, really sticks out to me is veterinarian recommended. Um, you know, this is huge, right? 
people care about that stuff. They want to know, okay, you know, do the professionals, like the dog professionals, do they think this is a great idea? Do they think that my dog's going to be mad at me and not like me anymore? You know, truthfully, this is good. This is good. This is something you want to include. So mentioning veterinarian recommended, you would want that in your bullet points. So what all you would do right there is you would just create a Google doc or create a word doc. You just copy and paste that in there and you save it for later and say, I'm going to mention that in my bullet points. Um, you know, another thing I like here is proper portions. So this one's good because, you know, when I look at this, it doesn't look like it carries that much food. So I might wonder how much food can I actually like put in there? Cause you know, my dog eats a lot, you know? Um, so this actually shows, tells you exactly, you know, each portion size for each. So it says the large one carries four cups of kibble. The small one holds two cups, etc. So you know, just really making sure, you know, that you're putting those, you know, those portion sizes in there. I, I think that's very valuable because especially like if you have an image like this, right? Because to me, it doesn't look like there's that much food in here. So 100% um, what you would do is copy and paste it. You definitely need to mention that. So that's all you're doing when you're going through this, guys, is, is what am I seeing that would sell me on this product? So the next thing we're going to talk about is value items. So um, this one right here, um, they do have a warranty. So, uh, you know, warranty for all our products, um, past 180 days. So, you know, truthfully what you could do, you can say, okay, my competitor, they're offering a 180 day warranty. Maybe I should add a year warranty. You know, that's better, right? That's better than 180 days. So that's something you would want to save and say, okay, maybe I can make, you know, use this. Maybe I can provide something similar to this warranty or guarantee, right? Um, you know, my other suggestion, you know, when I saw this, my thought was, I wonder if the word warranty or guarantee works better. You know, what's selling better? So if I were you actually, when I'm looking at this, I would think, hmm, so they're using warranty. Maybe I should use guarantee and see if that works. See if that works better. And then if it's not working too well, Maybe you can do a warranty, right? Where you can change it to a warranty bullet point and split test and see maybe one converts better than the other. So that's another thing. Maybe you can just take a quick little brainstorm note and say, okay, split test, warranty or guarantee. You know, that's a good idea right there. Um, another thing I think about when I'm on this listing in particular is um, keyword research. That's what I'm thinking. Just because of their, um, their title here, it looks like, you know, they were, they're really trying to get all those keywords in there. So what I would do is I would open, you know, maybe a spreadsheet right here and just start copying, pasting different keywords that I'm finding. So right here, I would probably grab, you know, pet fun feeder dog bowl, slow feeder. Maybe I'd grab slow feed dog bowl. That, that sounded funny, but uh, bloat stop dog bowl, you know, anything like that. That's a great idea. Just start putting those keywords together, that's going to help you in the long run. Um, but that's another thing to think about when you're rolling through these, right? Is grab some keywords and, you know, store them. Just create a, a simple list for yourself. Make it easy for yourself when that time comes, right? Um, so yeah, so my big takeaway for this one is that warranty, that's a good value item. So next we'll go ahead. Um, we're going to move on to customer reviews. So um, what you would do, it's simple. So you're on their, their listing right now. What you do is you go ahead and click their customer reviews. You see that they have 5% one star, click that. And honestly, you just kind of roll through these reviews and you know, see what people are saying. So um, looks like um, Aunt B here, she did not, this was not a win for her cat. Um, so, you know, big, you know, big red flag there. So, you know, maybe you think about it like this not a win for a cat in my sales copy. Maybe I should mention that it's for cats or if it's not for cats, you don't want to lie, right? You want to make sure you're portraying the proper message. So if it's just for dogs, you might want to put in, Hey, disclaimer, not good for cats. Um, but also maybe you're in the product development stage where maybe you want to make sure that you have both options, right? Maybe you want it one for a dog and one for a cat. So that's one right there that you can save and say, okay, so people are talking about cats. So, People did buy this for a cat. I want to make sure it's clear if this is for a cat or if it's not for a cat. So that's one thing right there. Um, let's see here. So yep, see too deep for a cat. All right, here's another one. Will not work with small dogs. Does yours work for a small dog? 
if it does, you want to point that out. This bowl works for large dogs, medium dogs, small dogs, works for my guinea pig. I don't know, guys. List what it works for, right? You want it to, you want your product to be shown in the best way possible. So be honest with your customers. If it doesn't work for small dogs, you know, maybe create one that is just for small dogs. Um, but you know, just making sure you have that different variety is really important, I think. So you're seeing that right here will not work for small dogs. You want to make sure that you have that in your bullet points if it does work for small dogs, right? Because maybe you'll get this customer that wasn't too happy with this one. She, maybe she wants to try another one, right? All right, let's see. Let's find one more. Let's find one more good one. I purchased this product to protect my dog. Instead, one of the non-slip grips fell off and I found her chewing on it. Okay, so that's a bummer, right? Um, you know, dogs do chew on things. Um, we can't control that, right? But, you know, maybe in your bullet points or maybe in an infographic, I guess, you could talk about those, um, those slip grips and you can say, you know, like super tight or, or maybe like airtight slip grips that won't fall off when your dog's pushing the bowl. Um, you know, you can use that negative here that you're finding on a competitor and use it to help yourself down the road. So that's a good one right there. So um, I think we're all set with those, but basically what I'm trying to tell you guys is really take your time with this, like looking up customer reviews, because you can really find a lot of interesting things. So things that maybe you didn't think of, um, points that you want to make in your sales copy, you can find a lot of that when you're looking at complaints from customers. And, and even some people, I know some people have mentioned, oh, should I look at the positive reviews? And I definitely think so. You know, maybe see people's why, you know, what was their positive experience with this product? And you can even use some taglines from there, like life changing dog bowl, you know, it's, it's really what are people saying about a similar product? You can hundred percent use that as well. So the last bit I want to talk about is infographics. And I felt that this dog bowl company did an amazing job. So I really, really wanted to talk to you guys about it. Um, so right here, you know, this is their main image. And, you know, I definitely talked about this in one of my, you know, talks with you guys. But one thing for sure is you need to have that white background, right, for your main image. So they are technically meeting that requirement with this because, Yes, there is a very cute dog here, but also it is a white background. Technically, this is a white background and the product is right here. So if you can make something like this happen with your product, I would 100% recommend it. This definitely catches someone eye, someone's eye, especially when you have all of those bowls, you know, listed. You know, maybe this one will really stick out to someone because they're seeing a really cute dog next to it. So let's just roll through their images and chat about it a little bit. So what I would recommend is if you really like an image, take a screenshot of it and create a full document of images that you like. That way, when it's time for your designer to take product images, you're set. You already know what images you want. He doesn't even need to brainstorm it. You can just say, here you go. Um, please, 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 you know, make this one, make it our own, create this infographic, etc." You know, if you already have that all together, it makes it way easier down the line when, you know, you're ready for that product image start. So right here, this is a good one. We were actually just talking about this, right? Where, you know, people obviously really care about this non-slip rubber feet um, uh, situation with these, uh, these bowls. So, you know, you definitely want to point that out. So I really like how they did it. They mention how many are on the bowl. They mention where they are. They zoom into the picture. I mean, there's no question, these, these non-slip rubber feet, they are on this product. They have made that very, very, very clear. So they, they are basically telling you, your dog will not be pushing this bowl. So, you know, it sells you, you know, you, you see these features when you're looking at something like this. So the next thing, I love this one. This is an infographic right here. So this is amazing. So, you know, right now, Amazon is getting very tight with bullet points, with keywords. I know a lot of people are getting in trouble mentioning certain words and certain categories, you know, so you want to make sure that you're able to talk about the benefits, right? So maybe you don't have room in your bullet points or, or, you know, anything like that, but you can put it in an infographic, right? So I loved this one, you know, mealtime is fun and challenging, prevents choking, easy to use and clean, you know, bite resistant, slow down eating time. 
it's listing all the benefits of the product. This alone sells you guys. Like this is, this is telling you, this is why you want your product. This is why you want our product. You know, it's going to make your meal times way more fun and challenging, you know? So creating something like this, obviously do not, do not, like I said, the same thing with bullet points guys, same thing goes here. Do not recreate this, this infographic to be exactly like your competitor. You want it, you know, it's, it's okay if you use similar benefits, similar idea, but you want it to be your own. You want it to look like it has your company stamp on it. So this is a really good example of an infographic. Um, and then right here. So in the complaints, you know, like we were saying, it, it seemed like there was for this product in particular, it seemed like there was a big discrepancy in terms of, you know, what size dogs could eat out of these bowls. And this one is showing you right now, three very different sized dogs. So it looks like right here, this is maybe, I don't know, medium sized dog. I'm not a dog expert, um, even though I really love dogs, but uh, if that's not obvious, but anyway, so, you know, this right here, we got about a medium sized dog eating out of the bowl. It's showing you that this size dog can eat out of this bowl, right? So now an owner of a dog similar size to this knows, okay, my dog can eat out of this bowl. I can buy this bowl for my dog. And then right here, you know, this image, this image, you know, says a couple things to me. Obviously, the, a big dog can eat out of this bowl, but also, you know, a child is able to feed their dog, you know, simple things like that, that maybe you don't think about, but they really could sell a customer, you know, like maybe someone is concerned about their child using the bowl. Like, can my child still complete their daily chore of feeding the dog? You don't know. You don't know what people are thinking about. So I thought this was a really great idea to, to show the size of the dog and to, you know, involve a child and show, hey, like even, you know, your child can still feed the dog. Don't worry about it. They've got it. So, and then the last one right here, um, I, I'm pretty sure this is a puppy. Could be wrong, but it looks like a puppy. And to me, you know, that kind of shows, you know, a puppy's able to handle it. You know, it will challenge them, but they are able to handle it. So, um, and like I said, very easy step right here. I would just screenshot every single one of these pictures, save it in a document, and then send it to your graphic designer and say, hey, can you help me create something similar for my brand? Um, you know, it's super easy and, um, you know, just a great way to start, you know, brainstorming. So like I said, so after you complete all those steps through all those competitors, and obviously you want to complete all of those different things for every single competitor, um, just with time and everything, I felt this was probably better to roll three different listings with you guys, but definitely complete all of that. So complete the, the sales copy part, the value part, the customer reviews. You want to complete the infographic part. You want to complete all of that for every single competitor. Um, but this was just, you know, for an example. So um, as promised, I'm also going to show you that jungle scout tool that we use. So all you have to do is, um, so we're just going to go with this keyword phrase here. We'll search that on Amazon. And then it just pulls up, you know, what, what people will find when they search this. But what you do is, um, you know, after you've signed up for Jungle Scout and everything, you go ahead and click JS right up here in the right hand corner. That's your Chrome extension. You click that and it pulls up, you know, all that data that I showed you in my, um, my initial example. So what you'll be seeing is you'll see, you know, their revenue, you'll see their reviews, you're going to see their rating. You know, this is good to know. I mean, I think actually the most valuable part here, you know, is obviously do you, you can see what the potential is for this type of a product, right? You can see the revenue potential, but I also really like knowing what reviews you're up against. You know, how many reviews do I need to compete with these people is kind of my thought. And you know, this one, for example, I, I think this was the first, um, the first bowl that we went through, they have 8,000 reviews. So that's, that's a tough one, but you know, going into it, Hey, you know, they have 8,000, but you know, this one has 315. This one down here has 32. So, you know, you really have a better idea as to what reviews you're up against. And then the last part about it, you know, is looking at those keywords, like I mentioned. So all you do is if you have this open, um, you guys see this little cloud right here it's in the bottom right of the jungle scout. Um, Part. You go ahead and click this and it says associated keywords and boom, these are your keywords, guys. Copy these down, copy these down as soon as they come up, screenshot them so they're saved. But these are the ones, these are the big keywords you need to make sure are in your sales copy because everyone else, everyone else is using them. They must be working, right? So you're seeing, you know, that feeder was used six times, interactive was used, pet, stop, you know, everything, you know, so you're seeing different what different different keywords are being used. So 
and style. So other than that, you know, that that's, you know, kind of how we do our competitor analysis. Um, and, you know, just really help you guys um, brainstorm and, you know, it gives you your, your first start, I guess, when um, you're heading on to Amazon. So, um, you know, that's my presentation. Um, if you guys have any questions or, you know, if you, you need any advice in terms of brainstorming for stuff like this, definitely reach out to me. Um, it's Jenna at turnkeyproductmanagement.com. I'll be, I'll be happy to help you guys. Um, but yeah. So, I mean, is there any questions or um, anything like that I can help you guys with? Hey, Jenna, it's Tracy. Hey. Hi, Tracy. That was so cool. I did not know about that cloud thing. I use Jungle Scout all the time and I did not know about that cloud thing. How did I miss that all this time? I guess I, I skip all their emails with their tutorials and their upgrades and I've been a lot of emails that I didn't pay attention because I'm, I'm not a daily user. I use it mm -hmm. for, you know, pre-research. I, yeah. I do early research. So, but that is really useful. Yeah, no, it's awesome. Yeah. It's, I think we accidentally found it. I don't even think it was in an email. I think we're like, what's this cloud thing? Oh. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, Good for honestly, you. you just gave us a huge hack tip. Way <laughs> yeah, so I, I, yeah, but no, it's, it's amazing. I would really recommend it. And you know, if you're ever just stumped on keywords, you're seeing what other people are using. So it's really cool. Definitely. Yeah, that's really great. And guys, if you didn't realize it, but I just put a link, Jenna and Jeff Lever, who is the founder <laughs> of Turnkey yeah. Product Management, are featured in my ink column today. So the oh, article God. just went live while you were speaking and I dropped Ooh. the link into the post on Facebook. Perfect. Uh, so yeah, super cool. And of course, if you're watching this uh, in the recording on product launch hazards, it'll be in the blog post and there'll be a full link to the article. And the article is usually posted eventually in product launch hazards a couple of weeks after it goes live on, on the column. So it'll be in both places eventually. So anyway, they are rock stars as you <laughs> have already gauged from this presentation. First off, I did not know that slow food for dogs was like a thing, like slow food for people. Like it's a huge thing. Right. Like, I mean, there are books and there are, but right. I did not realize we needed to do that to our dogs too. You know, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I didn't either. I just, I think I re the reason I, I, I always use this as, as my, this is like my it's guinea a great pig example. Dog. It really is. But I think it's because I just love looking at dogs truthfully. Like they're all in the images. But, but honestly, the, people do get really creative with these, you know, product images. So that's why I really love using them as an example. Well, yeah, they're really pretty. Like, yeah, I, I was like, that's a really pretty dish. Definitely. I totally get that. <laughs> anyway, well, wonderful. Well, thanks so much for being on today. I really yeah. appreciate it. And you are our first live streamer. First live so, streamer. The first live streamer of it. We're <laughs> going to be doing that pretty much as often as we can all the time if okay. possible. Hopefully every one of our experts is going to be like tech savvy enough to be able to handle this and we'll be on, we'll be on live. So, nice, so nice, guys, nice. check it out. If you uh, make sure you follow us on has designs, Facebook page. Um, and if you follow has design on Facebook, then you'll be notified every time we go live. Um, every time every expert goes live. Um, and be sure to check out Jenna's profile and Jeff's profile in Product Launch Hazards because you can connect to them through there and you can see all of their previous videos because they've done quite a few and they are so educational. I learn something new every time and that's why I wrote the article because I was like, this stuff is like gold. No one knows this stuff. So if you want to learn how to launch on Amazon faster, that's the title. Um, so anyway, thanks so much, Jenna. We appreciate it. Of course, of course.